Good morning, students. You have to take out your history and civics book, class seventh. We have started with the lesson number one of civics, the Constitution of India. The topics to be discussed in this lesson are number one, its introduction; number two, meaning of constitution; number three, making of our constitution; number four, the role of constituent assembly; number five, framing of the constitution. Number six, adoption of the constitution. Number seven, the preamble to the constitution. Number eight, basic elements of the preamble. Number nine, objectives of the constitution. Till now, we have done its introduction, its meaning, its making of our constitution, the role of constituent assembly, framing of the constitution, adoption of the constitution. Today, we will start with the preamble. to the constitution now what is preamble preamble is an introduction to the constitution as every book has preface in its starting which reflects the soul of the book in the same manner preamble reflects the soul of constitution and the nature of the state now come the preamble to the constitution at page number 129 The preamble begins with the words "We, the people of India," which means that the people of India are the source of the constitution. Source means base. Who is the main source of the constitution? The people of India are the source of constitution, and the ultimate authority lies in them. Ultimate means highest. The highest authority lies in the hand of people of India. People are entitled. to govern themselves entitled given right people of india are given the right to govern themselves how they can govern themselves through their elected representatives and the sovereignty of the indian polity west in the people of india sovereignty here means highest power the highest power of the indian polity controls in the people of india it embodies the fundamental values and the philosophy on which the constitution is based now the point comes the philosophy on which the constitution is based it is number 1 we need a welfare state number 2 we need to remove the gap between the rich and poor there should be no discrimination on the basis of caste creed and religion now comes the nature of the state the preamble to our constitution expresses the nature ideals and the objective of the state it expresses its nature means the highest power lies in the hand of people it ideals the principle of the constitution and the objective of the state means objective means goal and what is the goal of the state to provide justice to the people to provide liberty liberty of thoughts expressions belief and equal status and opportunity to all the people the preamble mirrors the true nature of the state mirrors reflects justice hidetullah observed that the preamble was the very soul of the constitution eternal and unalterable it means it will always exist it can't be changed only amendments can be done in the preamble of the constitution this is the preamble the picture of preamble it states we the people of india have solemnly dissolved to constitute india into a sovereign sovereign country into a socialist country into a secular country into a democratic country into a republic country it means solemnly here means declares what they declares the people of india declares to compose to constitute means to compose to compose india into a sovereign country into a socialist country into a secular country into a democratic country and into a republic country and to secure to all its citizens means to provide all citizens justice justice nyay ab justice chahiye in terms of social justice economic justice and the political justice liberty liberty means freedom freedom of thought
expression believe faith and worship equality equality of status and of opportunity and to promote among them all fraternity means spirit of brotherhood it assures the dignity of the individual and the unity and the integrity of the nation in our constituent assembly this 26th day of november 1949 do hereby adopt enact and give to ourselves this constitution now come to do you know mn roy a pioneer of the communist movement pioneer means opening person proposed the idea of constituent assembly in 1934 it means mn roy proposed the idea to make the constituent assembly so that a constitution can be made in which year he has proposed this idea in 1934 before the partition of india the total membership of the constituent assembly was 389 in the national congress 208 members all india muslim league 73 members others 15 members and princely states 93 members under the mount batten plan 3 june 1947 the representatives of the region incorporated into pakistan ceased to be the members of constituent assembly and its membership was 299 incorporated means combined ceased means refused it means the representatives of the regions combined into pakistan after combining with pa- pakistan they refused to be the part of constituent assembly on 20th feb 1947 in the house of commons britain prime minister clement attlee declared british would quit india after transferring the parts into the responsible hand but not later than the 3rd june 1948 on the very next day on 21st feb 1947 the viceroy of india was changed earlier it was lord bevel and then it became lord mount patton on 3rd june 1947 british government proposed a plan that plan was called mount patton plan it was also called the 3rd june plan in this plan the british government asked partition of india and pakistan the date that was final for the partition was 15th august 1947 this was mount patton plan after this plan the membership of the constituent assembly was 299 the first meeting of the constituent assembly was held on 9 december 1946 Sachita Nansena was the temporary member of the constituent assembly. He was the temporary member, but the uh, member or uh, the chairman of the constituent assembly was Dr. Rajendra Prasad. Dr. Rajendra Prasad and Harinder Kumar Mukherjee were elected as the president and the vice president respectively of the constituent assembly. Dr. B. R. Ambedkar was appointed as the chairman of drafting committee on 29th august 1947 the national flag was adopted by the constituent assembly on 22 july 1947 the constitution of india was passed and accepted by the constituent assembly on 26 november 1949 students here you have to learn for more uh, date The Constitution of India came into force on twenty-six January, nineteen fifty.